WA is on its way to making history, preparing to roll out Australia's first electric plane network. The first flight route will travel from here at Jandicott Airport and arrive over at Rottnest Island. This electric aircraft taking to the skies in WA. A Perth company is planning to build Australia's first electric aviation network. There is a new gold rush coming, a new iron grab, a new nickel dash, but it's not in the ground, it's in the sky. I'm Coram E, founder of Fly On E, and we are building Australia's electric advanced air mobility network. The aviation sector is long overdue for reform, and we are entering an exciting new era of air transport, the advanced air mobility era. Advanced air mobility refers to an interconnected network of complementary air transport services linking key locations in metro areas and regional areas to create on-demand, low emissions, point-to-point -point air transport services. The rise of electric aircraft is enabling the development of this network, offering lower cost and lower emissions with higher safety and comfort than legacy aircraft. Fly on E is now introducing these next generation aircraft to Australian airspace. Electric vehicles are soaring in popularity and a Perth company is taking that demand into the skies. This implementation officially launches Australia's first electric charging network. It connects this airport with Jandicott. Tomorrow's air taxis and they're already being trialled here in Melbourne. Battery powered and charged by the sun. Fly One is working with other Victorian airports including Moorabbin and Tayab to facilitate air taxi services. We've established the basis of electric aircraft supply and infrastructure in Australia. We've written the book on electric aircraft pilot training that's been approved and certified in Australia. And we already have air taxi services underway in Western Australia. Now we need your help to grow and scale to a nationwide delivery system of electric aircraft services to be accessed by more Australians. Boeing estimates up to 650,000 new pilots will be required over the next 20 years. Bionee has introduced new, lower cost, high efficiency trainer aircraft to Australia as the exclusive importer and is working with leading training organisations to refine the training process in this new aircraft. We have also secured the early production supply of the world's best next generation of medium range two four and five seat commercial electric aircraft for advanced pilot training and air transport. In 2023, Qantas spent more than double its net profit on fuel alone. For many air operators, the cost of fuel is their biggest expense. Integral to our rollout of electric aircraft and commercial services is a simultaneous rollout of energy supply infrastructure on all service routes. By integrating renewable energy collection and storage, with fast charge delivery solutions. On flight routes that are serviced by aircraft we import and support, Fly on E is building a strong vertical integration model to protect and grow the advanced air mobility market in Australia. The cost of energy supply is the big Achilles heel in legacy aviation right now. Fly on E has removed that vulnerability from our supply chain and turned it into a strength. As our manufacturing partners increase supply capacity, Fly &E will expand electric air transport services into key regions in Australia, raising the accessibility and customer experience of fast, renewable air transport services, while also reducing the cost.